Planet Dolan. Why would you want to wear your heaviest clothes on a plane? How can you save a Google map to use when you're offline? From organizing the charge and his 10 great travel hacks to remember any time you're heading away from home. I'm Danger Dolan and today I will be your narrator. Number 10. Hopefully, when you pick up a suitcase to go somewhere, your clothes are already clean. But if they're gonna be there for a while, they might get musty. Throw a dry sheet in there, they'll stay fresh. Put one in when you got a suitcase full of dirty clothes, it'll keep them from smelling up your suitcase too much. You don't have a dry sheet? Throw a bar of soap in with your dirty clothes, it'll have way better results. Number 9. Forget space saver bags and forget folding. Start rolling your clothes, you'll get way more of them in your suitcase. In fact, you may end up with so much additional space, you run into completely different problems. Your suitcase has too much stuff for now, and it's just too heavy. If you're flying, make sure to check what your airline's maximum luggage weight is. Number 8. One of the first things you're going to need to get into your suitcase is a charger for something. But if you put it in a pocket of your suitcase somewhere, it's a good chance you'll lose it or it'll get damaged in the process. If you have a spare glasses case, you can grab your cords and put them in there. That way they're protected from damage and they're much easier to find. Honestly, this is something you can use whether you're traveling or not. Number 7. If you're flying, you should know you can't bring liquids through a security checkpoint. That means you can't carry your bottle of water through security, which means you're at the mercy of $5 bottles of water at the terminal. What a great deal. That, or you can bring your own empty bottle. Whether it's disposable water bottle you save in, or your own plastic or metal water bottle, just empty it out beforehand. You can fill it up at the water fountain once you're through the security. Number 6. When you're in a new place, you're going to want to figure out how to get around, and also how to connect to an internet network. Unfortunately, these problems tend to compound themselves. If you can't connect to an internet network, it's going to be hard to pull up a Google map. But if you know where you're going to be, you can pull up the map in Google Maps beforehand, and save it for offline use later. Just type in OK Maps, and the name of your location, and you'll be prompted to save the map offline. That way you can look at the nearby points of interest and even get driving directions whether you have a signal or not. Number 5. If you're the type that wears a lot of jewellery, there's an easy way to keep most of it together. Grab a pill case at the dollar store, use each of the compartments for a different set of jewellery. It likely won't fit in some of your bigger pieces, but the tiny ones are the ones that get lost. This will keep those nice and tidy. Number 4. Whatever you're bringing on a flight has to go on your body or in your luggage. And it's going to be a lot more important for you to save space in your luggage. So if you bring in a heavy coat, wear it. Heavy boots or shoes, put those on. It might be a little bit more of a pain going through security, but you'll save tons of space in your baggage. Besides, if you get hot wearing your winter coat in a terminal or on a plane, nobody says you have to keep it on. That way you're still comfortable, you made room for another outfit or two. If you want to go all the way and avoid baggage fees altogether, go for the wearable luggage look. Number 3. One of the worst feelings in the world is the realization that you're missing a key component necessary to charge your phone. Whoops, you brought your charger cable but forgot the power block that lets you actually plug it into the wall. It happens, but no worries. Increasingly, hotels are introducing USB charger stations, so this might not be a problem for you. But if it is, check the back of the nearest TV. Most televisions these days have USB ports in the back of them. They'll charge your phone about as well as plugging it into a laptop. Number two. This might be a little out of there for some of you, but if it comes in handy, you'll be a hero. When you're in public spaces, you notice how people tend to crowd around where the power outlets are. Everyone's looking for a place to charge their phone, plug it in the laptop, or whatever else. But if you find a good spot, there are generally only two outlets available. So why not bring a power strip to turn it into way more outlets? That way you make room for yourself even at an occupied power station, as well as anyone else that might need one. Number 1. You need to pack more shoes than just the ones you're wearing, right? But you don't want to just put your dirty shoes in your suitcase with your clean clothes. That's why you put them in a shower cap, which keeps them together, but also keeps the soles of them away from anything that could get dirty. For smaller shoes, you can put both of them together. If you have bigger shoes, you can just use a cap for each. Either way, the result is the same. So guys, what's your best trick or tip for traveling? Let us know in the comment section down below or pin our favorite to the top. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!